Millions of miles from Earth in the icy gloom of deep space, an alarm clock should bring Europe's comet chaser back to life. For the last two and a half years, the Rosetta spacecraft has been in energy-saving hibernation as it catches up with churimanov gerasimenko a two-and-a-half-mile-wide lump of ice and rock. Later this year, it will orbit and then land on the comet's surface. Anxious moments for engineers at the British company Astrium, who helped to design and build the probe. It's interesting enough, if you like, to, to actually design, build and launch a, a spacecraft. But to then see it travel around the solar system for 10 years to get to where it is now is, is just something else. Never before have scientists attempted to land a probe on a comet travelling at 60,000 miles an hour. The comet has almost no gravity, so the lander will use harpoons to clamp onto the surface. There it will study the plume of gas and water vapour that will erupt from the surface and trail behind as the comet nears the sun. Rosetta has already survived the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, sending back spectacular snapshots. But the trickiest parts of the mission are yet to come, and they start with a deep space wake-up call. Thomas Moore, Sky News.